so here if you see clearly so this is a circulating current production scheme this is one type of wire pallet production scheme in this case we have a transmission line the green color line indicates the transmission line which we need to provide production so in order to provide production for this transmission line we are going to connect cts cts at the sending end side cts at the sending end side and another ct at the receiving end side that means we are connecting cts at both ends of a transmission line which we need to provide production so these are actually the ct secondaries these are the ct secondary terminals the polarities indicates uh, in what way the current is flowing or what is the voltage across the ct secondary so this indicates positive and negative and this indicates positive and negative so then after we need to connect a relay so obviously the relay consisting of operating coil and a restraining coil we are connecting a restraining coil in series with the pilot wires or in series with the cds if you see the restraining coil is connected in series with the pilot wires here we have a two pilot wires and across the pilot wire or in parallel with the pilot wire we are going to connect operating coil so this is operating coil and this is a restraining coil in order to make the relay to operate the operating coil should be energized as well as the restraining coil should also be energized if the two coils are energizing then only the relay will operate okay. so here actually the pilot wires in this case the current is flowing through the pilot wires so why i'm saying this point you will get to know in the second case so in this circulating current production scheme the current will flow through the restraining coil and the pilot wire but it will not flow through the operating coil under normal operating conditions i repeat under normal operating conditions or under external fault conditions the current will flow through the restraining coil and the and also flow to, flows through the pilot wire but the current will not flow through the operating coil this is because the current is not flowing through the operating coil the relay will not feel or relay will not sense that there is a fault and relay is not going to operate the, uh, how this circulating current production scheme is going to work under normal or external fault conditions why we are going to say it as an external fault conditions i will tell you why we are considering the external as a normal operating conditions because external is out of the protected line if the fault is not uh, if the fault is not taking place on the protected line if it is out of the protected line then there is a separate production scheme for another transmission line so that production scheme is going to operate but this production scheme is going to operate if the fault is in this transmission line only if this fault is lying in this transmission line only okay. so and also if a fault is outside of a of outside of this production scheme the current direction will not be changed and the, this uh, see uh, that is the polarities will also not be reversed first first condition under normal operating conditions if there is no fault the current will flow through the restraining coil and also the current will flow through the pilot wire based on the polarities of cts at the uh, at the sending end side as well as at the receiving end side so there is no current flowing through the operating coil because the current flowing is same because at the starting point how much of amount of current is flowing at the ending point also that much amount of current will flow because there is no fault okay whatever the ct you are going to measure at the ct secondary this one will be also same okay, there will be no difference in currents okay. there is no chance to flow the current through the operating coil now for example now the fault is taking place for example if you are considering if a fault is taking place at this point what happens now the current direction is this one and then under the normal operating condition now the current direction will be get reversed because if this is a fault the complete current is going to feed to the fault that means i will indicate that one with a blue color so this green color direction indicates for normal operating condition but this blue color indicates so this is actually the direction of current how it is flowing and it is feeding to the fault here also the fault is here therefore the amount of current will flow like this only
and we are assuming that the fault is very near to the remote end of the CV, CP. So now what happens? This time the direction, if you compare this direction, this direction is not yet changed. Okay, it is in similar direction. But if in this case, here actually the direction is flowing from this point to this point. But when a fault is taking place, the, the direction of current is reversed. So when the direction of current is reversed, the polarity of the CT secondary will also get reversed. That means this time it will be minus and this will be plus. So this is the reason why the reverse of CT terminals is going to take place at remote end of the CT. Because it is trying to feed the fault. So if a fault is taking place automatically, as I have already told, if a fault is taking place, the, the current direction will be like this, feeding to the fault. So now this is reverse. So when this is reversed, this is minus. This minus indicates the direction of the current will also be reversed. That means now this will be your direction. And the direction will be reversed. So this is blue color uh, arrows indicates the direction of current, fault current during the fault conditions. This is the way how the current is moving now. So this is the direction of current. And this direction is not going to change. This is the direction of this of this uh, CT which is placed at the sending side. So now what happens? This is the amount of current flowing here. And this amount of current and this amount of current is coming to this place. And this is a combination. The current is going to be added like this. And here, what happens? This is the direction of current. Please all of you observe clearly. And this amount of current is coming and it is leaving like this. See? And this is under not. This is the direction of current flowing through the CT sending inside. If you, if you observe clearly, I have not changed the direction of the CT which we have placed it sending inside. See? It is in the normal direction only, okay. but whereas only the CT which it is which it is placed at the at the receiving end side or at the remote end side, that respect to current direction is reversed. Why it is reversed? Because the polarities have been reversed. Why the polarities have been reversed? Because the current direction from at the at the point of CT at which locate uh, at which place you have located CT, the current direction is reversed. Why the current direction is reversed because it is trying to uh, feed to the fault. The current direction is reversed with respect to the fault point. Okay. This is not possible if the fault is outside of the uh, protected line. For example, if the fault is here, what happens? Still the direction of current will be like this only. It is not getting reversed. It will be reversed if, the, if there is any fault in this protected line only. Okay. And the, the, the polarities of the CT which it is placed at this receiving end side, only that polarities will be reversed, but not this polarities. Whenever the fault is in, for example, if I'm considering the fault is here, but still the direction of current will be like this only. If the fault is here also, the, the direction of current will be like this only. The, the direction of current is not varying with respect to the CT which it is placed at the sending end side. Direction of fault to current when the fault is taking place. Now this time, the current is not only flowing through the restraining coil, the current is also flowing through the operating coil. The current is also flowing through the operating coil. This time, the restraining coil is already energized, the operating coil is also energized, therefore the relay will operate. So this is the way how the faulty line will get isolated uh, when, a, when a fault is taking place on this protected transmission line. And we are calling it as a difference in amount of current because if you are not assuming as the as, uh, reverse of polarities, that indicates difference in currents. If you are assuming it as a reverse in polarities, you see, this is actually addition of this, the, this is the actually the current direction flowing through the operating core. And then after it will be divided like this.
this amount of current and this amount of current should be same right so here also this amount of current and this amount of current should also be same okay and another important thing this relay is operating okay and not only this relay simultaneously this relay will also operate how this relay is going to operate based on the magnitude of current okay because here it is going to operate based on the direction but here it is going to operate based on the magnitude because whenever it is feeding to the fault that is that is not a normal current that is a high amount of current see so much of high amount of current is going to flow that high amount of current that difference in the current will flow here okay this is a normal current and that difference in amount of current because this time the amount of current will increase i'm not varying the direction this is done carefully i am not change in the direction of the ct which is displaced at the sending end side the direction is same but the amount or the magnitude of the current is varying so what happened here here is actually the difference in current will flow why because so this high amount of current we are saying that amount of current is going to flow that amount of current is a not small magnitude this is a high magnitude that high magnitude of current is going to flow but here we have only the normal current so the difference in the current is going to flow through this operating coil the difference in current will flow through this operating coil and this normal current is going to flow and this magnitude of current and this magnitude of current will be same that is the fault curve so when this current is flowing through this operating coil when the difference of current is flowing through this operating coil the restraining coil is already energized now this time operating coil is also get energized and this relay is going to operate simultaneously so this relay is going to operate and also this relay is going to operate it means so this relay is operating and this relay is operating and therefore this uh, line is protected and this line is isolated from the existing system so this is the way how we are going to protect the transmission line using this pilot uh, wire scheme using this circulating current protection system.